School starts at UC Berkeley later this month, and thanks to some upgrades, students and faculty with disabilities are going to have a much easier time getting around campus. Lynn Ramirez introduces us to the architect behind a makeover for one of the oldest buildings on campus. For Ryan Monriquez, getting around the UC Berkeley campus can be challenging. He must expertly steer his motorized wheelchair up and down the hills. And around the hazardous construction zones. But when he reaches one of the oldest buildings on campus, the Hearst Memorial Mining Building, he might breathe a sigh of relief. That's because this 1907 structure has just been retrofitted with state-of-the-art upgrades to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. So now when he rolls up, it's like the building welcomes him with open arms. It was really an improvement, um, but I would also say it goes beyond uh, just accessing the building. Uh, when I think about accessibility, uh, the upgrades mean to me, uh, it's about accessing higher education. Ryan is a graduate student in public policy, the president of the UC Graduate and Professional Council, and a campus advocate for people with disabilities. He was born with spinal muscular atrophy type 2 and has trouble using most elevators because he has a very low reach. But that's not a problem here. So this right here is our uh, lower elevator panel. And if you can see from this one right here, I can't reach the third or the fourth floor because I can't lift my hand that high. Um, I, I wouldn't even be able to get to where I needed to go. The building upgrades were designed by San Francisco architect Sally Swanson. And this really has provided some wonderful access. Who for more than four decades has been guided by one overarching idea. Everybody wants to participate. And to participate, you have to be able to get in the building. Hmm? You have to use the bathroom or a drinking fountain in your classroom. You have to provide the program services in a building, and everybody wants that opportunity. And I feel very strongly about it. I have all these years. This is all the work I've done that is very important to me. Sally is a pioneer in universal design and known throughout the world for creating inclusive environments for all people. In the Bay Area, she was at the forefront of the disabled rights movement, working closely with other pioneers like Ed Roberts, who had to fight for his right to attend UC Berkeley in the 1960s with his 800-pound iron lung. In recent years, Sally has been a universal design consultant for Paralympic Games in Sochi, Pyongyang, and Beijing. Recently, a hip condition has slowed her down a step or two, but her own mobility issues have given her new insights into her profession. But I've noticed with my disability, my recent disability, that people aren't tolerant. And if you walk really slow, well, they get all upset about it, and I kind of laugh around. To have this, I thought, well, this is a new, new perspective in my life. Sally has taken that experience to heart in her work with UC Berkeley, which also included an ADA compliance survey of the entire campus for faculty and students. And that means a lot to people like Ryan Monriquez. I just really am grateful for Sally and all the work that she's done uh, to make our campus more accessible and inclusive. For Ryan and others, it's hoped compliance with the ADA is just the ground floor, not the ceiling, when it comes to providing access for everybody. The retrofit at the Hearst Memorial Mining Building costs $700,000. It's all part of UC Berkeley's long-range plan to improve access campus-wide.